you're feeling incredibly stuck right now, and I'm not, I don't just mean like a little bit stuck, but despair, depression, like completely alone, hopeless, helpless, you don't even know what's going to happen to you. You have nobody you can lean on. And you just don't know what the future brings. And maybe you're feeling hopeless. This is for you. I was at an ayahuasca ceremony last night. And because I work with my clients to help them through depression, anxiety, some of their deepest, darkest moments in their life, I was taken through the experience physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, through several experiences of depression, anxiety, despair, hopelessness, a sense of being desperately alone, like nobody, like you don't have a human being on in the world. And it was interesting because I feel like as if my life wasn't enough experience and evidence for me to remember what that was like. But I was taken through it again so that I can understand my clients better. And I was brought to a scene that had such an effect on me when I watched this movie. It's called Painkiller on Netflix about oxycodone and um, remember this scene where the young man, a father and husband and business owner, takes himself through a detox and I find these things really difficult to watch and I got to revisit that again in ceremony and what it was like for this young man to feel completely abandoned, alone, outcast. And here is what the whole point of that was, and this is the message I want to share with you. Even though if it's even though it might seem like you are alone and there's not another human being you might be able to lean on and things are extremely difficult and maybe you don't see a way out. Here is the message. You're never alone because if you are alive, if there's life within you, that means there is life. And if there is life, it means there is love and light. And that means you're not alone. That means you have support. You have somebody, something there to be with you. And you get to lean on that, even though it may not seem like it's in physical form, even though you might not hear a voice of comfort, even though you might not feel the hug but it's there just because you are alive. I hope this helps.